I read this and assumed it was TCG. Yeah, no. That thing there. Oh, fuck. I am stupid. (laughs) Hello, and welcome to the Cowboy for Game Yu-Gi-Oh! podcast. I'm your host, Jake. Tonight, I'm joined by Blake from Blake Space. Ah! And Ben from Nolan TCG. Hello. How was our week in Yu-Gi-Oh? Uh, Blake, did you do much in Yu-Gi-Oh? Unfortunately, I did. did? (laughs) Um... Yeah, master little stuff, and then uh, organising and getting uh, our new locals together. Yes. Um, working out what we're doing in terms of both locals, and then like how we're going to run. We're going to do winner box, we're going to do stuff like that. And then I did a bunch of testing during the week with randos that came in. Like, you have Yu-Gi-Oh now, and I was like, sure, chief, I'll play with you. Um, I'll some of my bird, and then yep. you go, oh, I've lost. Um, <laughs> it is incredible the amount of people that go, oh. Yeah, you want a normal... Sure, man. Uh, oh, okay, you normal summon egg. Okay. Again. Oh, it's... Uh, that's uh, a big chicken. It's a, it's a, that's a bird? And I was like, what is that doing? I'm like, it's actually me spell a trap. And they're like, it's 27. Fair enough. Okay, go for it. And then I go, and the uh, barrier statue? And they're like, <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> like, hang on. Me and I um, keep barrier statuing people that are like, I'm new to the game. Can you yeah, 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 look. <laughs> you're like, yes, he's a fusion deck. Buy, buy, buy three of these branded structure decks. Now play through my, my barrier statue. Here's the thing, right? It is to my knowledge that when I say, this is what Yu-Gi-Oh is, and they go, nah, and I go, okay. Okay. Here's what it is. Invest. Off you go. I go, go for it. Uh, uh, Dark rule on my board. Oh, you did? Fuck. My bad. Yeah. I'll, uh, <laughs> I'll see you. I'll see you next game. <laughs> um, but yeah, other than that, um, and then yeah, just doing uh, like a weird amount of, I go through like, I won't play Last Duel for a week, and then I'll play it for like three days straight, and then I'll go, oh, I'm good. Um... But yeah, this week was funny. I versed so much Eldritch. Yeah, yep. I still don't understand. I just complained about did. it the whole time. I just like I, it was. It might be a case of like uh, victim. Co- I don't know what it's called, but like when you like, I, victim I, mentality. I, yeah, it just yeah. I saw it a lot and I noticed it a lot because I hated it so much. It may have been less than I think, but because I hated it so much, I was like, Fuck, go away. <laughs> um, but I saw it heaps, and so I just put like storms in my deck because I was like, fuck it, who cares. Uh, it worked. Yeah. It, it do do the ting. Me? Yes. I had an up and down week at you. You did. On Sunday, I did really bad. <laughs> yeah, like, what were you really playing? Bad. I was playing same list both days, split. Uh, on Sunday, I just got destroyed. Everyone opened every out possible. Jake cheated. <laughs> a little bit. On camera. Just a little bit. Just a little bit. Um, I assumed that the tier element traps did the same thing. They don't. They don't. <laughs> so I'll be cutting the one that does the not thing for the <laughs> oh, one okay. that does the thing. Okay. So that one of them rotors, one of them adds back from Brave. I sent the one that adds back from Brave, and Jake's like, I wrote off. You, ah, yeah. you didn't. I did. I sent it. He did. It was me. Oh. You sent it. I thought I zoosed it. No. Okay. Don't worry then. Um, I don't think, like, no discredit to you, but I don't think you got as far as No, Zeus. I didn't get anywhere. I got Dark Ruled into... Lava Golem, and I was like, oh, I'm out of resources. Oh no. Um, yeah, um, so my opening hand in that was um, Lava Golem Alpha. Yeah, <laughs> give him Golem, bounce back Golem. <laughs> Potentially give back no, Golem. Correction, if that's not what you did. You Dark Ruled me, then you broke my board with the Alpha, and then I rebuilt my board, and then you went Lava Golem. <laughs> yes, yeah, because I opened the Dark Ruler, I didn't need to Lava Golem. Like, so, yeah, everything, you just kind of have to bounce back the one thing and then play your full board, get over yeah. the M-Pan and then move on. And I was yeah. like, cool. Sprite. Oh, Sprite. yeah. Yeah, Sprite. I'm thinking in Birdland. No. Um, uh, I was literally sitting here going, do they banish if you Dark Ruler? And I was like, oh, you're not playing. Them. So, <laughs> my Sunday was bad. I only got like one win all day. And then I was like, cool. Showed up, same list tonight, and went next one. I was like, this cool. Is just how it is? How it goes. Um... The only bad hand I had all night was against Josh, where I opened... Shocker. So top top card Every of my time. deck, uh, the Trickstar Light Stage. Second card of my deck, Trickstar Light Stage. Third card of my deck, uh, the Lily Bell, which is the only search target in the deck. Yes. And I was like, cool, this is fine. This, sure. this does literally nothing. And I'm like, next top deck, uh, Duke Frog. Mm, this hand doesn't work. This hand literally just does nothing. Sick. <laughs> and that was it. Yeah, fair. Other than that, it happens. It happens time. against Josh a lot. So. It happens against Josh so much. Yeah. It's actually absurd. Oh, yeah. And then, like, the next game he had... I opened, like, the exact counter to stop him from playing, but he opened Ghost Bell, Double Ghost Ogre. And I was like, cool. 
Yeah. He couldn't use his sign out mining, but he had hand traps just to stop me for three turns. I was like, cool. Love that. Yeah, the ghost spell is quite annoying. I also versed Josh tonight. Uh, versed him in the finals, and yeah, the ghost spell. It yeah. wasn't super problematic. The more problematic card was that he happened to have um, Silent Graveyard in game three. Kind of like shuts off my deck for a turn. He'll claim he came up with that idea. I gave him that idea. <laughs> I, was, I told him ages ago, and now all of a sudden it's his idea, and he had it months ago before he even considered the format. <laughs> that doesn't sound like Josh at all. Nope, not at all. <laughs> Um, How was your week? Yeah, uh, yeah. Other than that one matchup, it was fine. Um, You're so dumb build deck. Yeah, yeah. I play the the women who mill. Um, so no, I just leave it. Okay. He's this is Jake when he's halfway to build corner. Yeah, true. Yeah. No women, please. <laughs> so I played Sunday. I versed three sprite decks in a row. Fuck. <laughs> first so you him, saw a lot of frogs. First yeah. him and one through minor cheating um, <laughs> it's um, gotta be done Speaking one against of Brandon um, again just sprite things I opened most of the outs I think the bigger problem with him is that like all of his um, counter cards are like life point paying cards so like a pointer of the red lotus yeah. and uh, like solemn judgement and stuff like that he burned himself half to death so yeah he spent uh, what would that be two five thousand life points Oh. before I'd even like gotten to do anything properly um, and then yeah game 3 was against Chad I think that one was no it wasn't Silent Graveyard that stuffed me in that one I think it was maybe D Barrier something along those lines but yeah yep. another like turn skip card so yeah the turn skip cards hurt yeah if they and could go away that around. would be great yeah nah. um, turn skip cards are fine no fine hardens. and dandy um, but yeah, I found <laughs> since the last time we spoke, I cut two cards from my deck. Were they the two traps that don't do what you think they do? No, no, no. Oh. I'm still only one and one, but I cut an extra uh, King of the Swamp because it wasn't doing much, and I cut Fusion Deployment because I found myself doing more non fusion plays, and I also just never opened it. Yeah. So I was like, no, nah, get nah, rid of it. Once you start to mix that deck with other things, you just cut the Fusion Deployment, the first thing you go. Yeah. Ah, goodbye. Like, yeah. Once dangers go in, you're just like, don't need this anymore. Yeah, yeah I haven't been able to source the dangers yet, so I'm still playing a very, like, I, don't, I hate saying it, but it's more towards a pure variant than anything else. I hate when, like, that term gets... Pure. I hate, yeah, yeah that's, that's, that's it. I hate part. when yeah, that term yeah. gets used, but that's effectively what it is at the moment. You play Adamant Repeaters in your Gem Knight build? <laughs> ah! Yeah. That's not pure. <laughs> and then they summon Baron and you have a heart attack. You're like, ah! <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, I also used my Block Dragon. Yeah. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> Um, like yeah, so since I cut those... your entire deck's a good thing. Shocker. <laughs> yeah, who would have thought? Um, so yeah, um, cut those two cards and the deck is just wildly more consistent now. Like, Hell yeah. I'm just hitting good stuff all the time. Um, so yeah, went X1 both days. Still haven't pulled an ulti, Sag. Um, and that's getting harder and harder now because you pretty much have to go X1 or better to have any chance. Yep. Just to get with TS packs <laughs> at all. Uh, and it's the Enchantress set, yeah. Enchantress, yeah, Albaz, uh, Skill Skill Drain. So Skill Drain got pulled on the weekend. Not even cool ones. Didn't look as bad as I thought it would in person, but still doesn't look great. Does it? Is the background? Is it like prominent? The background's off the... textured, but there's like no texture on the actual, um, like on the art. So, yeah, yeah. So they okay. like, which I like. Yeah, I like when they do that kind of stuff. Yeah. I just think all three ulties are shit. But we've been yeah. through that, and someone commented saying my opinions are bad. So that's fine. Hey, <laughs> you th listen, you know what? Go into that. People are allowed to be wrong, and that's okay. <laughs> but who's wrong? Anyway. Anyway. Um, <laughs> no. <laughs> um, so some master duel news. Uh, so we have. This is the last day of the uh, battle pass. Um, so I hope you both got your scap oh, I, I did. Yeah. You got your scap card. Got your scapegoat. I uh, thought it was Stray Lamb. It was no, no scapegoat. Confirmed scapegoat. It, it says scapegoat. It was. I it's won't only lie. one color. It's not all four. Yeah, it's the wrong horns. What? Australia has different horns. I was making a different point, but that's fine. Continue. Uh, I cut it close. Also, Australia is only is two. Yeah, so it's, it's still be it's, not that. It's okay. Um, we can move, Jake. It's I like fine. to be right. Anyway, uh, we're, uh, we're having different <laughs> conversations yeah. though. Um, I cut it close, but. Oh, you fixed it. Ah, oh, shame. 
That's my fucking hair. I got a haircut the other day and I hate it. I hate it so much. It's too short at the front. Anyway. Um, Could be worse. I got like gray hairs coming in. I'm like, this uh, is fantastic. To you, yeah. Time too much to stress. Die. Too much stress. Yeah, pretty much. Yeah. It's all right. Just gray around here and go for like the George Clooney look. Yeah. Mm. Silver Fox. It's all right. My, my mate's like 26 and he has like almost all completely gray. gray hair. Oh, shame. <laughs> Too much stress. We've said it's retribution because of how annoying he is. Like, the grey hair <laughs> that he would have given everyone else he got instead. Yes, good. Um, but yeah, just this podcast? How's it going, Clyde? <laughs> <laughs> Look, I'm not a great person, and I'll admit that, so I definitely wouldn't make friends with a person named Clyde. Yeah. <laughs> Any Clyde's watching the podcast, Poor I'm Clyde. really sorry. You cannot be my friend. Ben's view... Oh, Jake's views do not... Uh, aren't the views of the podcast, so... We're pro client here. We're pro client. Yeah, this is a pro client <laughs> podcast. Yeah, sorry. That, that's that's kind of tricky yeah, to say. It, it is. Pro client. Um, anyway, we although the battle pass is ending, we still don't know what the next battle pass looks it's like. Okay, we'll find point. out tomorrow. We will By find the time out the very soon. Podcast goes up. Um, we'll be we looking do, like idiots. Possibly. Um, so we do have some news about what is coming out. Uh, so we have the announcement of the next structure deck. Um, it is bad. It is. <laughs> spell- <laughs> <laughs> it, it's spell books. That's so cool. Uh, you get the engine. But they, fine. That's so cool. The but engine's do they give cheaper. Spellbooks good... Does it have judgment in it? I don't know. I've literally just got the, the spellbooks. Did they give it good the support? Ones. Judgment. New three. support? No. Oh, did they make it... Oh, well. Shocker. Yeah, who'd have thunk it? I'm, am- I'm um, amazed. We have some new card sleeves coming out. Why which is are that going to be. I don't like to this see is, it. Yeah, this is the thing. So the n- new card sleeves coming out are uh, Sky Striker Conversion um, artwork on the sleeves. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Um. Yep. Yeah. Um. We've got some new mates coming. Oh. <gasps> uh, so we have uh, Gunkan Shu Ship Ikura. Okay. Sure. What the sushi ships? Oh hell yeah. Yep. Uh, we've got Guy the Fierce Knight, uh, Guy the Dragon Champion. Yeah. And totally awesome. Oh, that's lit. <gasps> frog time. That might actually make me consider switching from the Dragon Maid. Yes, yeah, Frog time. You know what? I think I decided whilst we're having this conversation what I want the next mate to be. Yeah. The little dude from Mystic Mine. Yeah, the, this, the guy with the axe? Oh, yeah, that dude. Nah. Are we back in the mine? Oh, the, the yeah. warrior that's just like... <laughs> no, no, the guy, the guy in the cave that's oh, like the holding mystic up the guy. little circle. Yeah. You know what that's always remind me of? And this is a reference that many people here might get, but no one here. Um, Tom Bruce from uh, Final Fantasy. Yeah. Oh. Looks a lot like yeah. that. Yeah. Yeah. Like just coming yeah. towards you slowly with a knife, just like. I don't like the. Yeah. Um, we look. also have an icon frame, which is also a reference to Sky Striker, um, and one uh, for Magic Cylinder, which. I don't Let's know. go Magic Cylinder. I don't know how that artwork will look. Um, they've also announced some new they titles. Look like a cylinder. Possibly. Yes. They have announced some titles as well. Um, so if you're not aware of the titles, like you can customize your player yeah, card. Yeah, yeah. Like um, fan of anime. Yeah, yeah, that one. Yeah, yeah. Um, so they've got Link Newcomer, Link Challenger, Link Practitioner, Link Professional, Link Elite, and Link Master. So this is just... Link on these I joined. Nuts, I started playing in 2016, I started playing in 2017, I started playing in 2018, <laughs> I started playing in 2019. Well, the reason I think they've got these specific titles, and it hasn't been confirmed by any data mining, is because I feel like the next festival will be a Link Festival. Yeah, it will Great. Be. Can't wait to not use them. Yeah, me too. Normal summon bird. Can't wait to play Mech Knights. <laughs> Mech Knights. So many columns. <laughs> so many columns. All the columns. Yeah. Imagine if they reverted back to MR3 for that format too. Like you have to... Well, they kind of have to, don't they? Yeah, you're not summoning anything else. That was a stupid thing. Yeah. Uh, anywho. Uh, so yeah, that's all the news that we have for Master Duel that's at cool. the moment. But uh, yeah, I think they're doing an update tomorrow. So oh, yeah. potentially a flood of information. Oh, yeah. sorry, I like. We also have a new Solar Gate, uh, Planet Patrol... Um, I still don't know how the My deck favorite works. archetype. I used to know how the deck worked, and then I just put it out of my brain. Yeah. Um, it will come as no surprise to either of you that I've done it. Um, I kind of just threw stuff at the board, and eventually it became a thing. This was just oh, bait sure. for Jake to be able to talk about <laughs> yeah. him playing I'm solo I'm done talking games. about it, so if you well, stop look, talking, Jake, we Jake, can move on. Jake, as the resident plunder player, <laughs> I will say uh, it requires a lot of thinking and a lot of brain power to make those combos. Oh, so, so that's why you never played it. Yeah, too much uh, brain. Probably because I never read the cards. 
I don't what? even know if you've touched a plunder. No, I haven't. <laughs> one of them summers from deck. I inherently own one because I think I pulled it and I was like, um, but I don't know. I don't know. Yes, so we have some physical product announcements. So we have awesome. the name of the next main set, which is going to be after... Thingy. Um, Darkwing Blast? Yes. yes. After Darkwing Blast, which will be Cyberstorm Access. Uh, so get ready for some cyber stings. Can't wait. Uh, so they've got that releasing in the OCG in January, uh, sort of mid-January. Um, this is like our April set. Yeah. It'll be... Wait, is that? How's... That would be the set after the set after Darkwing Blast. Yeah. When's that... Darkwing? So Darkwing Blast would be our November set. Then mm. we would still need a January, February yeah, set. Yeah, so I think and it's Darkwing Blast something... Set. There's something in between. I can't remember what it's yeah. called. But then, yeah, that one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Buy Bisted. Actually, oh. don't buy Bisted. Let it be cheap for me. <laughs> yes, please. I wish I had Diddy Crow on legs. Yes. Um... YCS Rio happened over the weekend as well. Yeah. Um, typically a very interesting YCS because their car pulls a little different and they kind of do things differently. <laughs> Jake's <laughs> literally just stealing my talking points from when we were talking at KFC. We've no, oh, we've said uh, we've we spoken said on the, the week before about, and we've spoken yeah. many a time yeah. in between about podcasts laughing about, about Brazil's card pool. Yeah, it's different. My explanation was they have the card pool that warps the way they play, so therefore their decks are always going to be different. Well, in respect what to What don't that, they have that we have right now? Well, this this is the thing that I'm going to bring up. it's not too bad at the moment. Yeah, like, they've got pretty much everything that they need. So Until... we've got the top 32 breakdown, which will give you a pretty good, good indication. Uh, so we have 6 tier element, 3 danger, 2 punk, 4 sprite, 3 t- frog, 1 tier element, uh, which was um, Patrick, what's his face? Hogan? Yeah, that one. The guy who definitely really? legally got there. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That yeah. One. Really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah I yeah, didn't yeah. realize Patrick Hoban popped his legally. popped his head up. He said legally, perfectly legally. Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> Do you mean into the country or into the event? Into Top Gun. Oh, okay. Whoa! Yes. Uh, four Mathmec, uh, two with Ignista, or it should be the other way around. There's more, way more Ignista cards in it. But anyway, uh, one Despia branded invoked, uh, which is effectively just throwing fusions at the board. Uh, and one Mystic Mind Burn. Um, Yay. Guess what? One. Yay. Yay. They... <laughs> um, they have to get rid of that card. <laughs> Next year for Jake's birthday. It's, it's gonna hear... <laughs> I won't lie. I won't lie. I saw that list right. And in looking at it, my first response was, oh, this is, this is so smart. You didn't have to think all day. No. That just gives you an inherent advantage on the top cut after you've been there for 10 hours and people are tired. You're like, I'm juiced. I've just been fucking doing this and Activate. going like this. Like, Activate. There does come Activate. a time, though, where you have to deal with the repercussions of your actions mm-hmm. in that he after might have not had you... to think, but then he had to find a safe way out of the venue. Yeah. And like, he is also now on an FBI watch list. Yeah. As well he should be. <laughs> he, he has to find replacement <laughs> legs. Oh, <laughs> Anyway, okay. that's that's they're rough. They're in my country. Yeah, look, <laughs> yeah, look. They're not very. Uh, um, but <laughs> in, you're right. It absolutely has to be dealt with. It's just not fun. It sucks and it's awful. And if it were played in the manner of which it was initially designed, it might be okay. Initially designed. Well, the fact that it turns off if either player has like like it cucks the person who plays it as well as the other person if the the balance isn't there. So there was probably sure. a thought when they first made it that it's designed to be fair. Unfortunately, because we have a card pool of 10,000 and people like to be assholes, they <laughs> use that card yes. pool to make it completely degenerate. Yes. And I don't think it has the restrictions on it that they think it does. Like, in Maybe designing it's that card... It's fine. In designing that card, they went, oh, well, here's the out. It's got... It's fallback is this. And everyone's gone... You're stupid. How do this I go isn't to a fallback. Zero. Yeah, like this isn't a I, fallback. I like, am stuck at one. Like, I, I, go to I'm, zero. I'm not allowed to just take a card off the board. Like, I can't do that. <laughs> Unless so. you're Rika. Yeah, well. <laughs> Goodbye. You can just tribute for fun. <laughs> Audi. No. Let's play Flunder East and just tribute over their Mystic Mind. Yeah, absolutely. Send it. 
Just send it. It's material. It was also like the most simplistic Mystic Mind list I've seen for a long yeah, time. Usually they're like so like... convoluted, but like it was back to playing like a Yama trio and yeah, stuff like yeah. that. He's like, what if I just don't play a monster? Yeah, there was no monsters, right? I played no monsters in the main No game. monsters in the list, yeah. 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 It was all just, I'm going to give you monsters, mm. and then and I'm just going to pass. Good luck removing them. Mm. Goodbye. Hate it. Hate it so much. <laughs> um, yeah. I, yeah. It's... It's so dead now, too, because we're not talking about tier elements and them having the biggest rope. We're not talking about sp Sprite. We're not talking about any of the interesting things in the top cut. We're Thanks just for... talking about this <laughs> fucking bullshit. Bragg has entered the chat. So, we we've, we've had this mind debate so many times this year. It's, it's barely, not it's... a going second card. <laughs> <coughs> let, let him say his piece. I've um, never been on the wrong side of history. Can someone... Like, if you ever like us enough to go through everything he's ever said and contradict that, I'd appreciate it. Me? Yeah. No, there are two examples. Otherwise. I've been on the right side both times. I'm 100% right now. So, it's placement in the previous top. I've gone, oh shit, it has to go. It has to go. I'm going to kind of stick with it to kind of poke at Jake because that's just what I like. Yeah, good, it's fine. Sweet. I read that re I, I open my news feed go through see what one Rio that deck I go damn the Jaker was right <laughs> <laughs> it had to it, it has, has to go. go it's okay December 25th yeah on Christmas Christmas <laughs> only card on that list <laughs> but Honestly, if we have Terraforming to, to if, zero. if we have to wait until Christmas that day to get a ban list and that card is not on it I will kill Santa <laughs> <laughs> like you know because you know they're gonna go terraforming to zero bah! and everyone's yeah. gonna go oh that's Missing it we're fixed my tears no <laughs> I want to say it's triple P <laughs> um is there is there footage no no, no it was just a blog <sighs> yeah so wank I want to see him go well, it's it alright, you can read. Just, it's gonna be opponent drew. Past. Opponent passed. Opponent passed. Player drew. Passed. drew. Passed. Player passed. passed. Play Wait, no, disguise. sorry, it's playing Mystic Mind Burn, so it wasn't just stall. It was draw. Burn card, burn card, burn card, card. Pass. Draw. A thousand. Draw. One thousand five hundred. <laughs> draw. Game. You know the worst part about that deck to her that. I, no, it's not the worst part, but I, what also sucks is that I've seen people out the mine and what? still lose. Yeah. yeah, because there's so much burn stuff. You've spent a couple turns trying to find it. Yeah. They've got you to like under 4k. You're kind of in that range where they just go. Sucks. You're dead on the next one. Yeah. And they are like, oh, okay, cool. Um, and I've pointed this out as well. It's it's a whole cacophony of things. Like you've got 10,000 cards. But one of the most egregious cards that they've given that deck and still allowed to is Goddess. Oh, yeah. Like, not only. No, that is fucking atrocious. That is not an effect that should be in this game. You're so right. Oh, Goddess is... Oracle Skull? Yeah. yeah. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> that was like, the no, no. you're talking about. No, Goddess it's... of the Underworld's fine because they're not yeah. summoning anything. Yeah. It's the fact that, like, you're, you've are you sided in. Like, you've lost game one because you're not playing Yas because you're trying to burst yes. meta decks. Yeah. You side in game two and they're like, I'd like to look at your top three, please. <laughs> oh, <laughs> no. <laughs> you can have another tier element. Thanks. <laughs> Do you know the worst part, too? I've seen, um... I've seen at... Fuck, where was it? Um... He was on Twitter, I think, some of people just complaining, but they have, like, a written thing. Uh, and they were saying, like, the worst thing... Like, the, the, what's the most angry you've been at this game? And someone was like, when somebody had Oracle down, and they went, oh, you can't have that storm, and put it under, and he was just like... <laughs> <laughs> he was like, can you, like, somebody sitting there with mine going, nah, <laughs> and you've been like... <laughs> like, gonna... you only ever get a good card when they flip it. And it's a one good card they put at the bottom. And the next time it's two good cards and like, oh shit. And the next then time it's three think, good cards. Do I like, have Dark Bribe and Solemn Judgment to be able to get, negate yeah. these two good cards? I need to be able to negate one of these. Yeah. Uh, yeah you sorry. know the time that when you draw it to when they've been looking at it, you're like, yeah. they already have the out. Yeah, they've got the Solemn. It's <laughs> fucking awesome. And you're like, yeah, you can have that one. And you're like, I hate it so much. Um, but yeah, to yeah. to quickly mention that, the angriest that I've been in this game was um, I was pretty much on the bubble at Oceanics and um, I was playing Striker and they just sat under Mystic Mind and poked me with Hayate for game. The you're just sitting there like... angriest I've ever been. You're just sitting there like, you can't I do anything. I like... yelled judge so loud, I saw people on the other side of the auditorium turn around. <laughs> 
literally the angriest I've ever been. I just can't cope. I can't cope. It's it's that situation where you're like, you know you're fucked. And you're like, you've looked at your hand five times and just gone. Yeah. Well, there's no out. Yeah, there's just no out. All right. Unless uh, there's a link monster that just magically leaves the field on something. Yeah. But doesn't activate. Uh, or like, tributes itself as cost, gets rid of... It's fucking... No, it can't activate. It has to inherently oh, get rid yeah, of itself. Oh, yeah, that's what you're saying. Yeah, yeah, it can't even tribute itself as cost, because... Yeah, fuck. M-Pen. They should just make a Link one that its material is just any monster, and it just inherently removes... It just banishes itself. Inherent banish. Doesn't activate. <laughs> fuck. Yeah. Imagine that. Link... <laughs> <laughs> uh, Link <laughs> just disappears. Um, but yeah, look. Uh, as I've said about, I've ra- raised the issue with Yada as well. Uh, just like these decks shouldn't have to do this well to then warrant a ban. They're really unfun and shit to play against. Yep. Just don't have them. They've around. been unfun and shit to play against for two years now. Like, just just don't don't let this get to the point where everyone's looking at this game going, I don't want to do that. Yep. Like. I just don't want to play this because I don't want to verse that. Like, we need you... to have balance in the game. Yeah, that card is not balanced. No, that's the problem. I don't need to. I don't want to have to side three has... cosmic, three fucking storm, and it See, has a self This is the other. It's fine. This is the other thing that really triggers me when they're like, "I'll just side for it." I'm trying to verse proper decks. Five other decks. Right, yeah. tier element, Rika. Yeah. Me citing fifteen cards for spell and trap removal means that I'm losing every other one of those matchups. Yep. You get to side three. Yeah, like, if your t- main deck is, like, perfection, then you can afford to side more. But most people will, like, have their own text and stuff like that. You can't... There's no way to perfectly go, oh, you're going to do well against this and you're going to do well against this with the yeah. sides that you have. Yeah. Just just play evenly and then watch them only keep the, the mind. Yeah. Yeah, and because you more than likely have a monster or two on the Shame. board, it doesn't matter. Nah, it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's not fine. Can you mis- <laughs> can you mystical ref panel your own evenly match so then you can banish your own monsters? No, I think it's pain cost. Uh, I I mystic ref panel coming back or like getting expensive as desires was announced. It's just the best thing. Ever. Oh, that was hilarious. It was so funny. It was like fifty dollars a card because they were like they banish and then I draw. Mm. It's like I don't care. You're not gonna play it. Um. Yeah. Love that card. Um, what else? I, I can't think about. of anything else that was like particularly uh, revolutionary from that YCS. Like, it's cool was, that tier oh, elements have a bigger rep, bigger rep in top. Yeah, this this is the weird thing that I found about it. I thought for sure that just Sprite would be like the one that everyone went for because it was like super brain dead. Like the lines are super linear. It has options for everything, but then everyone just wants to play tier. Yeah. I guess because it's fun. Tier yeah. snowballs very heavily. Like, it's it's very much, at the moment, a luck-based deck. But if you build your deck properly, you're going to typically at least hit one of those luck-based things. And if you've summoned a bunch of dangers to the board while doing it, there's nothing really that a white board can do against that. Like, if you're resolving two dangers and then eventually you hit a tier trigger, like, yeah, they can stop the tier trigger, but then they're still going to deal with the dangers that you put on board, which then go into a curious, which then get you another tier trigger... And then you fuck. Yeah. The most egregious thing I'd say about that particular build is the snow being part of that. Yeah. Just like you, they've established a board, and the board's usually like annoying enough as it is. And then in the midst of that, you've also got a random flip face down. Yeah. And that can be deadly that, against that's, Sprite. Yeah, that's the thing that beats me nine times out of ten. Where it's like, it's fine. No I've, for you. I've dark ruled you. I can make a Zeus, but you just have snow. I've lost. Yeah. The game is just over. I could see that interaction being that uh, tier element is so highly represented. Yeah. The thing that goes first. Yeah. Uh, snows at one. Snows, snows at one. Because yeah. uh, I remember Probably they should not come back. Yeah. yeah. Uh, I think um, I could see it going. Yeah. They've done it before. They can do it again. And just again. go like cool. Yeah. Um, it doesn't make the deck horribly worse. Yeah. Um, just kind of keeps it in check a little Take bit. Take snow, give grass. Yes. Take snow, give grass. <laughs> tier with grass would be bonkers yeah I mean you have to play a bunch of bad cards though Jake you gotta pad that deck out to 60 if only you weren't gonna get 12 cards that made that good (laughs) yeah there is that yeah yeah Yeah. and you have 24 Um, cards yes 
So we move on to some questions. Yes. Uh, so if you went away, we I do thought have... there was a, a Dooley Linky mod famous. Oh yes, yes. There sorry, there was. Um, there was... All right. Yes. Yeah. Apparently, we... crazy, though, right? No, it was just a lot of famous. things that went to three. Um, Great. Where do you For the four people left playing that game. <laughs> yeah, true. Even Loz doesn't play a game anymore. Even Loz doesn't play it. I lost my link. It probably Sorry. does, but it just doesn't tell us. It's just digital speed duel. Digital dual speed. Yeah, Here we go. There, that's it. That's it. Full speed. Okay. I know what we're talking about now. So all of these, from what I can read, are going to three. Oh no, sorry. These are going to three. These are no longer on the list at all. So it's just freeing a lot of stuff. So we've got Shirinui Spirit Master going to three. Uh, no going longer to three the... doesn't mean what you think it means. No, it's three he's of played, any three, yeah, right? He's yeah. played Duel Links. He knows. Yeah, but he's yeah. cheered. Yeah, this this card was, used to be at two, I'm fairly sure. Uh, yeah. yeah, it's now lo no longer on the list. So we have yeah. Phantom Knights of Silent Boots, Amazonas Swordswoman, Scrap Recycler, Shirinui Spirit... Uh, yeah, Spectral Sword, sorry. Uh, Kawaki Miru Maximus, uh, Performer Pal Call, whatever the fuck that is, okay. and Christron Ryu. Cool. Real. Oh, yeah. That affects the meta in a way that we don't know because we don't play it. There I'm no assuming meta. for them to have done something like that, they're preparing for a huge power creep. They've got to be doing something big. You'd assume so. Oh, we also have an OCG breakdown. I might as well have a look at this. Um, so Fuck. 41% is tier element. Yeah. 16% yeah. sprite. Well, yep. nearly 17. Uh, six and a half with Bisted. Six and a half mm. with Flunderies. Five and a bit with Exorcista. And 23% other. The other has a bigger representation than sprite. Yeah. But the bulk of that other is Bisted. Yeah, I was going to say, I thought it was Well, Bisted just seems to be more of an engine than an archetype. Yeah. So when they say Bisted, I'm assuming it's like a branded Bisted. Uh, no, typically when it says Bisted, they mean like dragons. Oh, so, so it's just dragon Bisted. Bisted will be dragon made, dragon link. Yeah, yeah. just dragons. Yeah. Dragon. Because that's when you play the full, full, you play like the 12 card Bisted package. Whereas mm. in the other decks, you play like the four to six card Bisted package. And just two to ten. Yeah. Um, Anything where you're resolving that search for a card that's not a Bisted card, that's when it's called Bisted. <laughs> there was another thing from the OCG I saw that I may as well bring up <coughs> as well, which was uh, YCS Osaka in this year. The playmats. Uh, yes. Yeah. So they're getting uh, one of two playmats. It's either Gigantic Sprite or the Tier Element Fusion that we don't have yet. Bro, um, they, why do they pick good cards to have on their playmats and we get... Mm. We get Dark it. Magician. Yeah, we got the Art Magician like six years ago. <laughs> yeah. Um, they also get uh, promo cards. So they either get uh, Carrot or they get the... They can't uh, afford to give anybody packs. The card time. that does not in fact add a card from deck to hand. Uh, for <laughs> tier element. Does not in fact add a card from deck to hand. Does not do that. Um, Adds a card from grave to hand. <laughs> yes. Um, but grave is deck. Deck is grave. Yep. That's how tier elements When you're deck. playing tier element, that's <laughs> yes. effectively what it is. Yes. yes. The graveyard is your hand, your deck. <laughs> Your life and your resources. <laughs> Correct. Uh, so yes, back to our Discord. If you weren't aware, we do have a Discord. Link will be in the description below. Feel free to jump in and ask us some questions. Uh, this week we have, uh, kicking us off, 6i6, uh, uh, hmm. asked us, what is our preferred style of binder for keeping our cards in decent condition while not actively playing them in your current deck? Nine Ultra Pocket. pocket. Nine Pocket. No. Gem, no, Dex uh, Protection. Zip. I don't care what it is, as long as it's got black back, nine pocket, and it's a zip, I'm fine. You said zip and then you paused. I thought you were about to say Ziploc bag. I was yeah, like, yeah, yeah. Ziploc bag. <laughs> you, you gotta keep them fresh. Your, yeah. your foil bulk. Because then you can bags. open them and smell them again. It's where you put all your LOB cards. Yeah. All LOB cards going Ziploc bag. Lob bag. I'll the lob it in my bag. Cards, you have to keep them in the traditional way. Yes. Um, <laughs> if there's yeah. too many and they're all scratching each other, put an elastic band around. <laughs> yeah, <them>. easy. <laughs> yeah. Um, um, but yeah, so as long I've as they're pretty like, much gone no, through every evolution of how to keep cards. Um, so yeah, classic me was like no it. sleeves, elastic band. That yeah. was like my first agent deck. That was awful. Into a team. Um, then I had um, a Dragon Ball Z folder that I bought like ages and ages ago, like, like three clear... ring in yeah, yeah. store. God, ring. If somebody pulls out a ring binder, bro, I don't like to judge people, but if somebody goes, <laughs> Do you have traits? Do you stop. Do you, Do you stop? have traits? And pulls out a fucking How ring dare binder. dare you lie on this podcast? Bro. You love to judge people. Yeah, I know. <laughs> if, you, if, if they go, 
here's my ring binder. I'm going. I to go. You're gonna no. open the first page and see nine comments. Yeah, and I'm gonna go. They're like, can I get this evenly from you? Here's my ring binder, and I'm like, there is no. This entire binder is not worth this evenly. Please I go away. Go back to the tent you crawled out of. Like I can't do it. So I still have the ring binders at home. But they've got like gold rares, random yeah, sick. like shit in them, so I've not looked at them in ages. Something I learned today when Josh asked for an Archfiend, Archfiend eccentric, eccentric, eccentric. Um, they're just in a ring binder that I've left at my parents' house. <laughs> Secrets. I, what I you very want an explicitly. Eccentric for? Um, it's a small little target for Mathmag. Oh right, yeah. yeah it's it's also a Mystic Mining art. Yeah. So okay. you can yeah, it is. any card transitions to any card if you play Archfiend in that deck. And it's also Mystic Money out of your right. Fair. Interesting. So, okay. But yeah, Fair I, he was like, I need this. And I was like, I can't find them. They were in this folder. Oh, I left those ring binders at my parents' house. Oh. Ah. It's okay. Yeah, that was a common. I was in my bog. <laughs> Insight, then, just a quick diversion on that. I've always wanted the secret eccentrics. They look They're so, so nice. So I have They're one. so nice. Currently think it's in that ring binder. <laughs> <laughs> They're really nice. They were like money too. Oh, at the time they were huge. They were money. Then the gold ray came out. Yeah. <laughs> Still on my pen stuff. It's like, like every time it's the deck box, I'm like, ah, oh, there you are. Because it wasn't, <laughs> it wasn't a once per turn deck. on like either effect, was it? Because you could yeah. put it in scale, pop a spell and trap, pendulum summon it out because the ha -ha. zones weren't a thing, and then pop a monster as well. Um, but I can't remember the text. We literally had the discussion last week. I don't know I, if you saw it of, <laughs> of you sitting against Harry. And Harry's just sitting there like this, and he's got the Royal Decree, the fucking uh, Nat Beast and shit, and you're looking at a handful of spells. <laughs> and I'm like, I remember Harry sweating pendies for a while, and him being like, I now need to buy Art Phoenix Centric, but I'm not going to. Mr. Wee? Yeah. Yep. He did all that without Art Phoenix Centric. <coughs> We're still good. Yeah, Frank's just non existent. No, that's fine. Um, <laughs> um, but yeah. So yeah, uh, uh, Nine Pocket, Black Back. Uh, zip happy days the dex protection one's really good I yeah. can't recommend them enough they're expensive really good fun what was there um yeah and the last one that he mentioned like cause he did a bunch of examples but we kind of named them um the uh Konami branded ones die no they uh, um, burn them they become like bubbly like where the artwork and stuff is and they just look gross shocking and also they're, they're really small yeah, yeah. Um, next question, and it becomes relationship advice. Yay! <laughs> let's go! Welcome All right. The dual speed relationship Yes, advice. let's go. Look at the, the absolute wealth of knowledge we have here. Yeah. Hit me. There's a woman in the room, it's fine. Yep. <laughs> Hi, Brie. Do you want to... We can, we can consult you on relationship advice. Here we go. So, first question comes to us from Mira. Um... How do I deal with one of my partners having absolute cracked luck when it comes to sealed product? You don't acknowledge them while they're opening product. The luck will go away if you ignore it. Yeah, it's the victim thing where you think yeah. they have really good luck so you only notice when they have really good luck. Yeah. Um, well, well make a point of getting right up in their face when they pull bad. Yeah, be like, haha, no, okay, don't do that. Um, <laughs> <laughs> but, relationship like, man, also, just, just laugh in your partner's you wasted face. money. If you don't play the same deck, don't play the same decks as your partner because then you can just pull all your cards and then use what you need. You see, you then you run into the. But I'm playing the yeah, apples awesome today, do you? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm playing the one with feet. <laughs> don't lend your partner the best deck of the format. Yeah, don't do that. <laughs> oh no. Don't do that. That's not fun. Oh no. <laughs> Definitely wasn't fun for me. She fucking destroyed me with that deck. Yeah, yeah uh, it'll it'll happen. Um, but yeah, be happy for them. Pull your cards. I don't know. Uh, next relationship related question Woo! comes to us from Six Art Six. Yeah, for the king. Um, after a significant time of IRL Yu Gi Oh, like a regional, what do you do with your significant other or others um, to show them that they mean so much to you as shiny cardboard? Oh, right. So you're saying that, like, he goes away to, like, regionals and stuff with his mates and stuff and then comes back and goes, I went X1! And she's like, I don't give a fuck. <laughs> Buy gifts. Yeah. Buy gifts. Yeah, do cool things. If yeah. they don't, if they're not into card games or whatever, that's fine. There's other stuff you can do, but you can also just show them. I know, like, heaps of people who have gone, like, 
no, I don't want to show card games to my partner. And then I will talk to them and they'll be like, yeah, I'll learn you. Yeah, I don't care. And they're like, no, but it's weird. I thought, just fucking ask. No. Play games. Hide booster packs under your... Hide booster packs under... Hide I them knew that was going Under up. the chair in your car, only for them to find them on a date. <laughs> the first one. Oh, um, did she stay? She stayed, she stayed for a while. I bought her a dino deck, but then I never got to teach her it. It's okay, I made money by selling a dino deck. <laughs> Um, yeah, I broke even because I sold it for the same price. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> um, but yeah, do cool stuff. Um, it's always fun. I really like, as we've spoken about before, going away to regionals with like all your mates and stuff, and like that is a lot of times more fun than playing against fucking Mystic Mind. Um, Not so. all of your trips have to be Yu-Gi-Oh related. Mm. However, if you go to Melbourne, make sure that they don't hate all your friends. <laughs> it's very true. Don't worry. I don't know why you're looking at me. I'll fill you in later. Uh, next question again, and just an extension from Six I. Uh, what steps have you taken to get a better understanding of your significant other's needs? Um, okay, this is like always deep. deep. Look, okay, here's the thing. <laughs> they ask for relationship now. advice okay. despite I'll bring having this back. I'll bring zero this qualifications. It's fine. I'll wrap this around, right? So you know when you are versing an opponent and you ask them, does this do anything in my turn? And they go, not yet. That is poor communication. You need to have good communication with your partner. Just talk to them. Find out what they need. Find out what they want. When you're against certain people at locals and they won't fucking tell you what their cards do, it pisses you off. Because they won't communicate. What does Barone do? Nothing yet. Nothing yet? <laughs> don't worry about it. It's fine. It'll do something. Can you use this in my turn? I don't know. Can I? Die. Fuck around and find out. Fuck around and find out. <laughs> do you have Ash? Maybe. <laughs> Repeat the question. What steps have you taken to get a better understanding of your significant other's needs? Ask them. Yeah, they're pretty much just flat Communication. Out. Bragg's, Bragg's <laughs> thing from my experience and witnessing it is to be the person that goes and gets the food when the Uber driver comes. That's a very nice thing. Yeah, you should do that. I might have heard of it last night, actually. <gasps> Brag. And then that's for the phone. Well, what was my fucking dinner? I was hungry. Is everything okay? Uh, that's a term yeah. that's gotten thrown around a yeah. lot lately. So that, yeah. from the peanut gallery, you may not have heard, uh, the advice was learn their love language and then kind of cater to that because people express what they need differently. This is in no way an attack on you, but this feels like a term that was made up by crystal bitches. Yeah, it probably was. <laughs> yeah, it probably was. Um, but it's, this it's is the second time Jake's brought up crystal bitches <laughs> Oh what a king I love you Jake <laughs> You're my new favourite <laughs> Fucking crystal bitches um, But yeah Three times That yes. was the end of the first one But no one. Communication Very important Yes talk, I was going to make a joke And then censor it out But I'm just not going to make it <laughs> Well then that, then you have to go back through it And censor it And then you know yeah, Exactly It's, it's, it's exactly like It's like me. mentioning your arch nemesis Who you should communicate with more In an aggressive <laughs> way <laughs> I already do that. <laughs> okay, good. Look, you can't be putting yourself into those negative spaces, not when Mercury's in retrograde. Uh, Fuck! <laughs> Four times. Oh, bro. What's the deck that is like... Is it is it Agents that's yes. like... Yeah. You were close, bro. Oh, no. You were fucking close. I can never play that deck or, again. Or, or Crystal, <laughs> Wait crystal to, Beast. Yeah. Wait oh, yeah, it's Crystal Beast. Crystal Beast. <laughs> it's Crystal Beast. Crystal Beast is the rock bitch deck. Amethyst. <laughs> Amethyst. Gem Knights! Gem Knights! <gasps> it's We've fine. been invaded by a crystal Benzo bitch. Benzo crystal bitch. <laughs> it's fine, I mixed it with Adam and Spader. Oh, it's not pure! Fine. <laughs> it's nearly come full circle. Um, if you get... Oh, sorry, this is from IR Cool Guy. Um, if you get your spouse into the game and help them build a deck, <laughs> but then they decide that they want to build Mystic Mind, is it grounds for divorce? Yes. Yeah. hundred percent. Yes. What uh, you... So, them out. the communicate... It's, it's, it's Shut up! Time. No, die. <laughs> um, the... The communication becomes you're making me sad on a on a like a holistic level. You make me sad here. Don't do that to your partner. No, so if your partner decides they want to be playing Mystic Mind, yeah. you need to divorce them immediately because you both <laughs> so only one of you can. So you don't want to be that person. Yeah, you don't want to be You'll that be person. hearing from my lawyer. Yeah. Uh, Ben's views do not No, but look, that's the thing. If they're gonna make you, if they're okay with making you dreadfully depressed, you don't want to be with that person. Exactly. 
Yes, you need to find someone who loves you as much as you love yourself. Yeah, and, not how, much, God, and God. not how much they love kids. <laughs> Imagine, like, <laughs> having a significant other that's like, yeah, I really want to play Yu-Gi-Oh with you. And you're like, oh, great. Awesome. And you, like, go, like, oh, these are all the good decks. And you're like, yeah, cool. Nah, I've got, I've got one built. I, I've been watching YouTube videos. Yeah. Like, I've been oh, watching this, this is great. Like, yeah, no. I, like, put some money together. I got this YCS topping list. And you're like, damn. They're, wow. they're all in here. They're, wow. You go, Shit. like, full combo. And you're like... Let's see what they've got. I activate Mystic Mind. You're like, okay, dear. <laughs> <laughs> okay, dear. <laughs> okay, woman. You now, <laughs> you are now nothing to me. Uh, next question comes to us from Ragai. Uh, what do you? Th- I think we're moving on from relationship. Advice. God damn it! <laughs> we're out of uh, love corner. I don't know where you're going. Yeah, it's like around the other side of bird corner, but it's close because it's those the dark two things back are. Alley. No, but those two <laughs> things are the same. <laughs> <laughs> Bird Corner is actually just the front for the business. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, just <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying. Uh, Raga asks, what do you think is the main difference between good slash tolerable control decks and bad control decks? There's not. <laughs> Blake has a different opinion on what controls because no he plays There's no fucking control games. decks in this fucking game except Mystic Mind. There's only one. It so fucking what, sucks. So what's your definition of control again? I came up with a really counter argument the last time you said this, and you were like, yeah, that's true. Um, oh, we were talking... I, I said there's paleo. no archetypes in Yu-Gi-Oh! And you were like, no, no, there are paleo and like stuff like that. And no, I'm like, yeah, no, that's fair. No, it was control. We are talking about, we're yeah, talking about control. Oh, like I just don't think... Control. I don't think... I, I think in Yu-Gi-Oh! there's only like combo decks and going second decks. That's all mm. I believe. And you were like, no, it's paleo, paleo exists, yeah. stuff like this. And I was like, oh, fair. So what is your definition of control then? I... It doesn't exist. Like, I guess uh, it's hard. It's a resource managed yeah. trap based thing that pushes yeah. your opponent to multiple to- multiple turns to starve them of resources. Yeah. So does Runic not fulfill that exactly? Yeah. 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 I think just we didn't say it did. Yeah. I know, but he said that like he was no, going no, to go on his rant of yeah. like there's no such but thing. But my as thing is the yeah. issue. The issue can't. I think the same with Pokemon. By the way, Pokemon doesn't have control. Um, it doesn't archetype like. Archetypes in Pokemon don't Doesn't really have exist control. Because, yeah. Do you get Roxanne Path of the Peak? So that's it. That's that's literally Stall. Like that's, or Stall or Mill. Um, but Pokemon has the same thing where they've kind of developed their own type of archetypes, where I think Yu-Gi-Oh has developed its own type of archetypes, where in Control, in six other card games, Control is negate your thing, find out what I'm going to negate, starve your resources, but like negate, negate, clear the board, negate, play one thing. In Yu-Gi-Oh, it does exist. It's just kind of like slightly different to, to how a lot of other card games work. But yeah. Uh, well, yeah. Yu-Gi-Oh in itself works a little differently to how other card games Exactly work. right. So the um, definition of control for those games can't be applied to Yu-Gi-Oh so because, because it's different. And like no Mystic, mana resources in Yu-Gi-Oh. Yeah, exactly right. And, but like Mystic Mine is like burn, stall, and almost control. And I think it's like burning and stalling more than it is control. Because it's you're burning, not- It's only control whenever you're going to interact with them yeah it, it its goal is actually to stall you out and burn you yeah. so i think it falls under that shithouse category yeah. which is why what it applies to this is like control decks actually i don't mind in Yu Gi Oh. it's the burn stall decks it's that i care about stuff that blatantly just goes no and doesn't give you a reason that's stall that's interesting yeah at least if you have the reason which is this thing negates your thing i'm um, like this monster negates your monster fine it's like Three o'clock in the morning. Who's out in the lobby going down in the elevator? Uh, probably us. Oh, true. <laughs> yeah. Well, soon. Bragg's alter ego. Um, but yeah, my thing on the control sort of thing with Yu Gi Oh is that people tend to loop in decks like Mystic Mind Burn as control, and they're stun. Yeah. Yeah. Stun is where it becomes a problem. Where Shock it's not a case stuff. of I wish to just negate the. We're not going to trade. <clears throat> I am going to have one card that says. It's like saying no. uh, fucking calamity is a control card. No, no, it's not. It's a turn skip. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah, that's basically where I fall on that. Um, turn skips aren't control. Paleo is control. Paleo is control. Yeah, that's you having a bunch of re- you having these resources and going. What do I need to stop? Okay, you're going to yeah. do this. I'm going to try and stop this. Hope it's... Okay. I need to trade off yeah. my five cards to the six cards in your hand. Yeah. Yes. That is comprehensive. Also, you know what's crazy? People watch far enough to find the part where 
I asked for relationship advice. That was like the last thing we said last week. Yeah. 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 Thanks, you guys. Watch to you... the end again. Yeah. What's up, guys? Thank you for staying to the end. Thank you. Yeah. Uh, speaking of which, it is the end. Ah, thank you very much for watching. That was a brilliant segue. That was fucking Twice. 10 out of 10. Amazing. Uh, thank you very much for watching. As I said, we have a Discord. Please jump in, say hi. Um, if you have to ask us relationship advice, by all means. Otherwise. No, we uh, only do that actually, during the month. No, of no, no. Uh, so, different question I want now. Ooh. Ask us For advice September. on dealing with people at locals that you've encountered. Yes. Don't leave names. We don't want to know. We don't want to get in trouble. Just leave like thing and we'll tell you what to do. Just call them Clyde. Call them Clyde. Yeah, what's Clyde doing at your locals? What's Clyde doing at your locals? <laughs> when he walks in, he knocks your deck out of your hand and calls you an expletive. Yeah, or he draws his fourth trade in. Don't worry about it. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, please tell us and we look forward to hearing about them next week. Gotcha. Classic. Bye.